Okay, so what I've got here is my little journal I use. I've put all the settings I'm gonna need to set up this uh, mini focus wheel in the back. There we go. So what I'm gonna be using is a ZWO 533MC Pro camera. You need 56 millimeters of backspace. I'm gonna be using a um, 12 millimeter T2, T2 male adapter. I'm gonna screw the camera straight into the back of the EAF with a 16 millimeter spacer and 11 millimeter spacer from the front of the camera. And we go into filter positions later. So the first thing you need to do is take off this camera, remove the backspace, all of that train there, that should just unscrew from the back of the red cap. Let's just unscrew that now. Oh God, there we go. Right, so these two pair together. This goes into the back of the, um, the AF. Remember, this has got a face backwards. So you screw the camera on this way. Be careful not to cross thread or create any swarf or damage. That's screwed in. So it's got two holes here. They'd be useful if it gets bound up. But before we do that, what we need to do is to install the filters. Oh, it's getting carried away. We're gonna take these off and come back in a second. So we get the final screw undone through the magic of YouTube. That can come off. And we'll install the filter wheels. What I'd recommend you do is clean your filters before you put them in because it's a nice sealed unit and that way we won't get any dust. So we're going to get the filters ready and I'll show you what we're up to in a second. I've got my filter wheel loaded up as you can see there. It's got a beta semi APO filter in it, a beta UVIR cup and a beta UHCS filter in there. And it's also got an Optolong L Extreme filter in number one up there. So all I've got to do now is pop on the cover plate, which I'm going to start to do now. Do the screws up, and get the spacing on, and we should be ready to rock. Do you notice when I was doing it? It's got a lip all the way around it, so it's going to stop the dust and light getting in, which is um quite a nice little thought they've done and helps locate as well so that's really smart. Just give them all a little nip all the way around and that way we make sure we haven't missed any and won't lose any. But even if we do lose one or two that's fine because they've been nice enough to supply us with some spare screws so all is not last if we drop one. Right so next up I'm going to pop this on which is the 12 um, millimeter T2 and T2 adapter. I'm just gonna screw straight onto there. And spin it down, it will nip up, lovely. And then this is the stack we've made before. I think I'll put that one now. Spin it on, there we go. Oh, that's a 16.5, my mistake. I'll take that one off. Now, that was the uh, 21. You don't want to put the 21 on because you get the wrong spacing. Let's pop the the 16 on and that 
and they'll live on the back of the red cap for a little while until we switch over for galaxy season and then it can go on the back of the on the back of the um Zen of Star 81. Okay, so I've got clearance for that. I'll have to give it a little lift up and spin it. There we go. I can quite have clearance there, so what I'm gonna have to do is loosen off this on the scope. on there but that's fine but now we'll just pop it up pop it up out there so I can show you where it's at so hopefully that should be the correct spacing what I need to do is get a measure and um, see what it is so give me a sec I'll be back in a bit okay so the measurement should be around 56 centimeters we'll just offer up a tape measure um, Hopefully, yeah, that's that's about right. 55 and a half, 56, the sensor's gonna be around there. So that should be good. But to be fair, it doesn't matter too much with these um, red caps because the, the lenses move up and down inside like a camera lens anyway. So back focus shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we'll find out on the next video.